Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Konstantinos Papazakhariou and I am an MPhil student at the University of Strathclyde. In this video, my project Emotion Recognition System will be analyzed and discussed. My supervisors in this project are Professor John Shoragan and Dr. Gaetano Di Caterina. People express their feelings through facial expressions no matter what language they speak or which country they are from. Facial characteristic movements and deformations can convey the messages about our feelings. In this project, it is intended to develop an algorithm which recognizes the human emotion. This system can find application in various fields such as marketing or telemedicine. I would like to start with a historical overview. One of the first scientists who ever studied the human emotion was Charles Darwin. Darwin wanted to prove that there is a universal facial expression system and for his research used an enormous data set with human and animal samples. In 20th and 21st century, Darwin's continuer, Paul Elkman, developed the facial action coding system, which separates the human face into 44 action units and different complexes of them can produce up to 7,000 expressions. In his research, Paul Ekman demonstrated that there are six basic emotions anger, disgust, fear, joy, sadness and surprise and all of the other emotions are combination of them. The facial action coding system, which is presented in the figure, constitutes a kind of map to determine the facial expressions. So, depending on the muscles that are activated, an emotion can be produced and detected. In social science, there are two ways to annotate the human emotion. Message judgment approach, in which an observer labels the facial action, and sign-based approach, in which the facial action unit activation translated into emotion. Here we can see the flowchart of the Emotion Recognition System algorithm. ERS has stages, face detection and registration, feature extraction, and pain and classification of the data. For the face detection, the Valla and Jones algorithm is employed. Main characteristic of this algorithm are the quick discard of the background scene, the usage of the hard-like features, and of course, the notably high performance. Regarding the face registration, we develop our own method which is based on the eyes. So, in order to align the face, we found the eye centers, the angle between them, and then rotate the image as in the finger. After face detection and registration, face regions isolation follows. The areas we are interested in are the mouth, the eyes, the eyebrows, and the nasal area. Several techniques have employed to detect and, and crop them. The next step is the feature extraction, which is the most important task of the whole process, since it gives the information about the regions of interest. In this project, histogram of oriented gradients, the descriptor, used for this purpose. Image has to separate it into a fixed number of cells and gradient vector calculated for each pixel of the cell. As we mentioned earlier, histogram of oriented gradients is the technique which employed for the feature extraction. But what is gradients and what is histogram? Gradient vector of a pixel is formed by two simple abstraction of its cross-neighbor pixel in X and Y axis respectively. When the gradient vector calculated, it is simple to find its magnitude and angle as it is shown in the equation. Histograms are kind of cluster column plots where the magnitude of each gradient vector adds up depending on its angle. For this project, we use 9 bin histograms, so we have 9 values which characterize every cell. Database is a vital part of this project. A database has to be well labeled and in sufficient size. In this project, 3 well known databases were used. For the classification, the final step of this process, 4 models they show far support vector machines. Decision tree, k nearest neighbor using a sample clustering, and find k nearest neighbor. Here are some preliminary results 
from 24 images of joy and anger emotions. Decision 3 had 5 misclassifications, a score of 75%, while the KNN ensemble had 3 misclassifications and an overall score of 87.5%. Notably high performance had fine KNN and support vector machine classification methods with only one mixed classification and 95.8% score, which gives promising messages for the future. Our future plans include to add more emotions, use other feature extraction methods and classification models, and finally upgrade our system to a frame-based system, which deals with video. So today, we talked about an emotion recognition system. Its construction requires a phase detection algorithm, phase radiance of feature segmentation, use of feature extraction techniques, robust database, and a good classification method. Finally, our preliminary tests had promising results. Thank you for watching.